So have you heard that they're planning to close the wholesale market down? I don't think they'll ever have enough money. They haven't got enough money, they're just still going to close it down, though. Well, you know, it means that everybody's got to go as far as we're to collect the produce. What do you think that will? Ha what impact do you think that will have on the market? The price has got to go on. They'll, they'll up the rents. And <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, I've seen it all. What's your experience of, of being in the markets? Working blooming hard. Yeah. What did you do? I'm 90 now. I was 12, and my dad had a, was in the ball ring for 40 odd years. And I've got a photograph there to prove it. Thank you. Yeah. I bought it for somebody. And, uh, this, this man said it didn't exist. Why? Wow. So where's this then? That was taken up Spring Hill, you know, Spring Hill. Well, as you go up Spring Hill, Stewart Street is on your left hand side. But that was the only pub left, all the houses were knocked down. And, and that man there, yeah. and you mention it in any of the old ones, uh, Percy Mosley, and always got a cravat on, always wore a cravat. And he was clever. He could sing, he could dance, he could play the piano, and he could sing another song at the same time. Mm -hmm. And he kept a pub. And he had a stall in the ballroom. So who's this? Uh, oh, the, them. That, that's my little brother. He's dead now. And that was my dad. He was the worker in the ballroom for 40 odd years. What did he sell? Oh, whatever he Whatever he <laughs> Mostly tomatoes. Okay. Whatever he could get his hands on at the time. And what's your name, young man? My Arthur, Arthur Jones. And my, my dad was known as Little Dicky Jones. Thank <laughs> you.